Based on this, we understand what the Gemara says. Be very careful to pray Mincha. Be very careful. Why should you be more careful in Mincha than any other prayer? Because the power of Mincha has the ability to sweeten the judgments. I mean, people do so many things in order to get the judgments away from them. You see people walking around with an eyeball around their neck. Another guy has a red string around his neck. Another guy has a fish on his forehead. Another guy's carrying a flower in his pocket that they told him is against the Ayn Allah. All different sigulot. Somebody pours lead over his head. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of any of these. They're all good. But why don't you follow what the Torah says? Torah says, pray minha. Why? Because the minha, at the time of minha, what happened? Already the judgments of Yitzhak were sweetened. The Benu Ari writes, every day at minha time, there's judgments in the world. Why? Because the sun starts to set. When the sun starts to set, it arouses judgments. And therefore, there's a great opportunity by sweetening the judgments. It doesn't only mean the judgments of the sun setting. It means the judgments that are in the world. The judgments that come on a person. I mean, has an incredible prayer.